Hello my friends, wherever you are, all over the world. William Poloniak here again at Whole Health Foundation. And today I'm making a special juice that I'm going to nickname everything ripe from my garden. Basically I'm putting in red Swiss chard, beets, baby celery, ginger, garlic, turmeric, and a few other ingredients including carrots. Let's look at my ingredients. Here are my ingredients for this week's juice and what I have is broccoli heads, 80 grams of turmeric, 80 grams of ginger, one whole head of garlic, three or four beets with tops, baby celery, red Swiss chard, French sorrel, and about 80 grams of cherry tomatoes. So let's make some juice. Well, my friends, the first thing I'm going to do is feed some ice cubes through my feed tube. But first of all, let me assemble it with the five blade near zero blowback cutter. This cutter shreds produce better, and not only that, at 40 degrees Fahrenheit or 4 degrees centigrade cooler. So if you haven't had your cutter modified yet, give me a call and we'll take care of that for you. So the first thing I'm going to do is plug in my thermometer put in my number two grid and feed in some ice cubes. Now the trick with ice cubes is to go very, very slowly. You don't want to shoot it through here very fast. You want the cold to transfer to your cutter. Now you'll notice I'm also using the front-loading feed tube which minimizes almost 100% of any blowback. If you do get any blowback, it'll bounce off the angle and come out maybe an inch or two. So it's not going to go up to your ceiling. So let's put in a couple more ice cubes. And I'm going to start with my, my beets. My beet tops, that is. Beet tops are very, very fibrous. Check my wing nuts here. Beet tops are very, very fibrous, and you can see how well the near zero blowback cutter shred through those uh, fibrous uh, beet tops. So we'll continue now with some. Oh, let's do the red Swiss chard next. do more Swiss chard. Now I want to remind you because the near zero blowback cutter does such a good job you're going to be tempted to put in more produce but don't do that. Less produce is more effective so I'm going to put in three red Swiss chard leaves. Another tip, whenever you see that your motor is working hard, there are two things you can do. One is to clean your grid, which you should do often anyway, scraping both sides of the grid. Use your finger to scrape the pulp off your knife. And that's one thing you should do. And the other thing is to unplug your thermometer and check your cutter and then get any fiber because greens are very very fibrous and they're going to get kind of over clogged on your cutter and if you freeze that up those two things will make your juicing experience much much more effective so tighten your wing nuts plug in the thermometer and let's continue with more reds with chard and again only three leaves not six or seven because less produce is more effective
37 degrees centigrade, so I'm going to put in some ice cubes. Remember with ice cubes to go slowly. Rotate your bowl. Let's put a head of garlic in. the beet uh, roots. Now I want to point out that usually I do broccoli leaves because the leaves have more of the broccoli essence in it but these broccoli crowns were shooting uh, to seed and I want to get them before they seeded. of the broccoli so now we'll do the French sorrel. Take a small bunch of French sorrel, fold it in half and feed it in. Now my motor's working hard so I'm going to clean the grid again. Notice I use my finger to clean the knife. Let's continue with French sorrel. Just out of curiosity, I'm going to take a look at my cutter. Now there's quite a bit of fiber on there, so I'm glad I looked. Want to clean that off. And we'll continue with French sorrel. Here's the last of my French sorrel. And then we'll do the carrots. Three more ice cubes. Rotate my bowl. And before I start my carrots, I'm going to clean my grid. And I'm going to check the cutter as well to see how it held up with that French sorrel. Now oh, pretty good. Almost no pulp on the cutter. That's a very good sign. You'll notice that different greens have different kinds of fiber. Sometimes it'll clog up the cutter, sometimes it won't. So now Let's start with carrots, and I'm going to put in two or three at a time when they're small like this. And I want to point out what I really, really love about this front-loading feed tube, in addition to the fact that it's zero blowback with this front angle, you can see if all the produce is shredded on. And what I do is put in a couple of handfuls of pulp and force any unshred produce through. And usually there's a little bit of uh, produce that's not shred yet. So now to clean the grid and the grid holder, 
and the feed tube and cutter and mix the produce and make some juice. And as usual, the next step is to mix the carrot pulp with the greens pulp until you get a good mix. Now we'll start making some juice. Now I have a new set of cloths that I took out of my storage area where I store my cleaner cloths that I've done in the laundry. The last set of cloths got clogged with fiber and I had to set them aside for laundry next time. So we'll put three scoops on here. And fold this into thirds just like they came in the package. And later I'm going to show you my less work six cloth method. And after that I'm going to show you how the Whole Health Foundation Premium Model Juicer with this solid bottom plate can make 10% more juice than any other juicer on the planet. Alright, I'm filling my bottles and leaving 10% for filtered or distilled water. I personally don't like juice that's too rich. And we'll make some more juice. So we'll continue and first pull the tray forward, make sure it's on there properly. Two more cloths full of pulp into the press. Again, centered left to right, centered front to back, all the way back, back it off a little bit, and continue. And two more scoops on top of the spent pulp. Fold it into thirds as before, as tight a package as you can make. Set it aside. These patties are getting pretty thick. I think next time I'm going to put one scoop on top. It's very, very thick. This time I'm only going to put one scoop on top because this patty is getting too thick to accommodate the press. So one scoop, as tight a package as possible. Flatten it, set it aside, advance that all the way. Again, as tight a package as possible. This goes forward, that goes over, and the spent clouds go on top. Now while this is pressing, again, Centered left to right, front to back. All the way back, back it off a little bit. While this is pressing, I'm going to form this spent pulp into a much tighter package and press it again to show you how the Whole Health Foundation Premium Model Juicer can make over 10% more juice. And I want to point out that the juice that comes from the last 10% of your press is your most valuable juice in terms of nutrients. You might call them micronutrients. So there we have it. Set that aside. And when I'm on my last cloth, that's it all the way. Now, as you can see, I have three double packets of reprocessed pulp. This is pulp that's already been pressed. And rather than throw it away, I've repackaged it and we're going to put it in the press and I'm going to show you how the Whole Health Foundation model juicer makes 10% more juice. So we'll put it in the center of the tray, make sure the tray's on properly. Check it front to back, left to right, all the way back. I'm going to back it off a little bit because I don't want it to go up too fast. So I'm going to use a measuring beaker to show how much more juice we can get. That's that a little bit more. all the way. Now I want to remind you this is pulp that most people would throw away and that's because the stock Norwalk has a waffled bottom plate that you can only leave it up for about 10-20 seconds. There we have four ounces from the first package. Let's put in two more repackaged juices.
again, centered left to right, centered front to back, readjust it if need be, all the way back, back it off a little bit. I'm going to back it off a little bit because the reason you back it off is you don't want this to slip. You want to wait for, until you've got traction here. Okay, there's 16 ounces and this is just from the pulp that most people would throw away. And not only am I getting an extra full bottle of juice, actually more than one full bottle, the micronutrients in this last pressed juice is more valuable than the nutrients you get in the first part of the juice. So there's a little more than 16 ounces. Well, I'm not going to do the rest of these cloths because I want this video to be shorter. I'm topping these bottles off to the very, very top so that no air can get in. And as you can see, I pour some bottles until they're overflowing. And you can probably see a con vex curve there and that way there's no air in the bottle at all so now I'm going to cap it off and then put them in the freezer no air in the bottle that's the key well my friends as you can see I have 5, 10, 11 bottles of juice from this session and remember more than one of these bottles about one and a third came from pressing the already spent pulp using the whole health foundation model juicer and I have enough for two servings my good friend Chris Lamont and I are going to taste this for you so let's do a taste test okay my friends I'm here with my friend Chris Lamont with this batch of juice I think we have French sorrel Swiss chard and a number of other vegetables let's give it a taste oh boy that's delicious nice. Nice the French bit. sorrel sweetens up any juice well, there you have it, my friends. I hope you like what you've seen. If you'd like to call me, my phone number is 760-753-0321. My email address is developtrust.cox.net, and my webpage is wholehealthfound.com. I'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Oh, you drank yours already. Delicious. Uh, one of my favorite formula. See you in the next video, folks.